so we can take the model of the opera house back to the planet the grubs come from. What's so far-fetched about that? Seems pretty obvious. We've got to pin this phone number on the wall. You've got to pull the blind and jump through before Dump can stop you, OK? What do you mean he can't have a ticket? This is outrageous. Uncle Bunny said anyone who's friends with the Mellop kids can't use the whoop. Yes! Dump, there is go! Come on, Darren! I can't. Uncle Bunny will tell my parents on me if I do anything like that. Now, I have an art auction to attend. I shall be back here in two hours for the return journey. Get the rest then. Uh, right. Oh, no! What? Don't you recognised him? I'm sorry, Mr. O'Neill. No friends of the smelly mellops allowed. But coming! Yes, we know Mr. O'Neill's coming. <laughs> Where's Dump? I hope you left him somewhere really horrible. <laughs> Worse, I'm pleased to report. <laughs> Sometimes there are some things that can't be explained Time doesn't stand still and there's nothing that stays just the way we want it to be Things are changing round here How you going then? This is Australia, isn't it? Oh, you can understand me, can't you? Parlez vous Australia? Oh, you lost then? <laughs> I thought he'd dump me in the middle of outer Mongolia. <laughs> Nothing personal. So, uh, how far is the nearest city? City? Yes. Ten hours? Great. So, what's that? Walking? Jogging? Driving. Ah, right then. Uh, there wouldn't be a, a, a car place around here. You know, somewhere I can pick myself up a little Porsche or something? A little Porsche? Yes. No. no. How about a ute then, maybe? A ute? What about your tractor? Oh, I'm sorry, mate. I can make it worth your while. It's urgent, you see. I've got to get back. I'm sorry, mate. What about a bike, then, or a skateboard, even? A skateboard? Yes! No. <laughs> Haven't you got anything? You're desperate, aren't you? <laughs> no. Well, I do have one thing. I'll take it! It's a little slow. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on, boy. That's a good boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uncle Bunny? Uncle Bunny, is that you? Uncle 
सुविधा नहीं You reckon it's safe? Who's gonna steal it? Well, don't be gay. No, he won't. He's miles away. He won't be back for days. All we've got to do is help Aunt Josie with the model of the opera house. Then we can take it to the Grubs, and then everything will be okay. And then we can help Dad. Oh yeah. Poor Dad. I wish all this hadn't happened. I mean, he's finally turning the nursery into something that Mum and all of us wanted. And instead of giving him a hand, we're running around trying to save the world. It isn't fair, is it? No. Can somebody get that, please? Okay. Hello, Samantha Mel speaking. Hello. Keep busy. I've got to keep busy. There is nothing to be scared about. Interesting information from the Galactic Bulletin Board. That'll keep me busy. Let's see what's in it. Hey Sam, look at this. Sam? What? Well, I was double checking how much power was left, right? And I must have pressed the thing twice or something because this came up. 761? 761 what? Well, if you press the fast forward button, see? It's light years. <laughs> Impressive, huh? Yeah. You okay? You don't think that could have been Darren? Where? On the phone, just then. How would I know? You answered it. Yeah, well, they didn't say anything. Just hung up. So? Wrong number or something. Anyway, why would Darren ring us? He knows we don't like him very much. Well, he's all by himself. Maybe he's lonely. Or scared, maybe. Oh, I don't know. So? It serves him right. He's the one who told Dump about the window in the first place. Hey, don't worry about it. Well, I wouldn't want to be there by myself. What if there's bats? Bats? Or burglars? You'll be okay. Well, how would you feel? A price and distance guide for the telephone exchanges of the universe. Wow! I don't believe it. We'd like a lift, thanks. Uh, very much, please. Uh, just to the city. Please. Please. Just stop. It's only the city. Stop. 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 Pull the car. Pull the car. What makes you so sure Darren's been left on his own? We just know. Well, how do you know? Well, Mr. O'Neill jumped through the window with Doug. But Mr. O'Neill came back without him. What? Dumps into window repairing too? No, he was trying to be a travel agent. Won't be long. Windows and travel agents. I suppose there might be a connection somewhere. Who is it? It's me, Sam. What do you want? It was you on the phone, wasn't it, Dad? I won't shout, I promise. Promise? I just said I wouldn't, didn't I? Okay, okay. Hi. Hi. It's all right. The last time yeah, you I said Yeah, I know. That... But we've got the whoop back now. And I know you only took it because you were scared of your mum and dad. So this time I just wanted to say that if you wanted to come to our house tonight... No, it's okay. 
Uncle Bunny will be back soon. No, no he we... won't. Is he okay? Yeah, he's okay. We don't know where he is exactly. He's in the outback somewhere. Look, all I know is it's a long way and he won't be back for a couple of days. So, if you're all right, and don't think this means you're one of the group now. We only said this because we thought we wouldn't like it much. No, I'll come and stay at your place. That'd be excellent. Hey, you'll never guess what I found out when I was... Not now, Darren. Dad's waiting. But this is really interesting. It was on a program I downloaded from the Galactic... Yeah, Planet. I'm sure it's great, but we've got to go. Tell me later, okay? Oh, hi, Miss Mellor. How are you going? Hello, Darren. I take it you are spending the night then? Hmm? Yeah. Is that okay? He can have the sofa. Oh, of course. Have you eaten? Would you like a sandwich? Thanks, but no beetroot. I hate beetroot. Fine, no beetroot. Won't be a moment. And no tomato. I hate that as well. I mean, it's not that bad. It's just that I'm allergic to it. Not badly or anything. I mean, I don't come out in huge pussy sores. They just make me feel a bit... Oh, fine, fine. No tomato. I think I get the picture. What happened? Mr O'Neill landed on it. It'll be okay, though. We've still got six days to rebuild it. And then all we've got to do is take it to the grub planet. Not we, Darren. We. Sorry. It's a long way, though. I mean, I was looking to the side. Right. They're looking after you, are they? Yeah. I think about your Uncle Bernie take you off like that. Any idea where he's got to? Well, he went through the whoop with Mr O'Neill. Although I didn't know it was Mr O'Neill. And then he left him in the outback, apparently. The outback? Yeah, well, that's where he wanted to go. Who? Dub? No, Mr O'Neill. Well, Dub would have gone anywhere. Except now he can't get back. Because Mr O'Neill took the window with him. Right. I see. But it's true, Mr Mellon. Uncle Bunny was taking people everywhere this morning. Again. Afternoon, sir. Your friend's still not shown up then? No, not yet. Seems to be running rather late. Looks that way, doesn't it? Should be here soon. Seems such a reliable sort of chap. Maybe this special window of his needs cleaning. No, no, it wouldn't be that. No glass, you know. Ah, oh, glassless window, is yes, it? Yes, yes, yes. All right, perhaps you'd better give me a few details. Sorry? Name. Oh, um... Dump. First name? <laughs> don't know, come to think of it. You don't know your first name. I <laughs> see, I thought you meant, uh, um, yeah, I'm blind. Really? <laughs> no, that is my name. Blind. Sir Ian. Blind. Karen? No, no, Samantha. Well, I'm trying to concentrate. Well, that's no reason to be mean. All right. What were you going to say? I think that bit there had goes with that bit over there. Really? Oh, bravo, Darren. Hey, I was right. Pretty good, eh? Oh, we need more glue. Look, just because you're helping us doesn't mean you're part of the group, all right? Okay. Good. Thanks for asking me over, though. I get a bit tired of being left on my own. Mum and Dad do that a lot, you know. They go out at night and just leave me at home. And there aren't many other kids in my street. That's why I'm not very good at making friends, I guess. And why I spend a lot of time on my computer. I've never had a friend. Not a good one. Well, not any sort, actually. Come on. Eat up. You're supposed to be giving us a hand. Okay. Anyone seen the stapler? Yeah, it's in Sam's room. Thanks. Don't you think you're spending a bit too much time on that model? I'm sure it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, and there are other things that need doing. At least Jason's pulling his weight at last. Oh, yeah, where is Jason? Down at the nursery. 
finishing the job all three of you were meant to be doing last night. This is boring. You wanted to help us, didn't you? Yeah. Well, keep folding then. I hope you're still not working on that model, you two. Oh, well, at last. I don't believe it. When you finish that lot, here's a few more. Oh, oh Dad. Look, don't blame me. They just keep arriving every afternoon. I don't know how many your aunt ordered, but, well... If we've got them, we might as well fold them and hand them out. I'll get it. I said I'll get it, you fold. Hello, Bill Mallop speaking. Dad, it's the grubs like this today. Hello, Jason. Did you hear what I said? How are you going with the banner? What? The banner, how's it going? Uh, oh, uh, fine. Fine, fine. <clears throat> Just tell Sam the grubs have counted wrong. They've missed four and gone straight to five. I'm not pandering. We're fantasies, really. It's a, it's a, a, a password. A password? Yeah, like a kind of code. For what? Oh, for, um, for, um, yes. Uh, for her to, uh, to ask you if she can have a phone card paid for out of my wages. I see. All right. I'll tell her. Thanks, Bill. Tell me what? What's happened? Jason has asked me to say the grubs have counted wrong. They've missed out four and gone straight to five. No! <sighs> Dad, could you please give me a phone? A phone card paid for out of Jason's wages. Thanks. <laughs> Hello, this is Samantha Mellop again from Earth. You know you've missed a day in the countdown, don't you? <laughs> hey, listen everyone, it's that girl who invited us to the party on Earth. I haven't invited you to my party. And it's counted wrong. You've missed four and gone straight to five. Oh. <laughs> yes! Oh, sorry. Some of us aren't too good at counting. That isn't fair. You can't just change the countdown. Good, too late now. We've almost finished it. Oh, boy! So you reckon you can still get it to us? Yeah! That baby did the wheel on your plan again! You're really stupid, you lot. Really childish. You'll get it sooner than you think. We're still going to the party, aren't we? Of course we are, stupid! But what if she does bring the bottle? Oh. Earth things haven't even made it to Mars yet. We're halfway across the galaxy! <laughs> <laughs> Sam? You okay, love? Where's Michael? I don't know. How long are you on the phone for? Minute, minute and a half. Eighteen dollars for a minute? Oh. Oh. oh, this is our chance, Lightning. This is our chance. Atta boy, stay, stay, good donkey. Atta donkey, you stay, stay. You can do it, boy. And tough, Lightning. Ha 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 ha!
Michael? Oh, hi. I thought it was Darren. What are you doing? Hiding the molecular exciter. Well, I thought, you know, Darren in there, the whoop in here, well, we should do something. All oh, right, good idea. Yeah. Any luck with the grabs? No. You can't talk to them. They're so juvenile. So we've got one less day. What do we do? Work faster. It's the only thing we can do. We've got to keep going until we get it done. What, all night? Hey, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Nothing. And if you're thinking you're trying to steal the whoop again, forget it. We've made sure you can't. I wasn't going to. And we'll be working on the model all night if you want to help us. Okay. I don't think you're one of us. It's an emergency, that's all. I didn't want to... Yeah, okay, come on then. When are we taking the model to the Grub Planet? When we finished it. I wonder what it's like travelling that far. I mean, is it instant or is there a time delay or... Who knows? I guess we'll find out when we try it. Yeah, but yeah, but it's a long, long, long... Darren, come on! But it is! 98,000 light years? That's like the other side of the galaxy. What did you say? The other side of the galaxy. No, 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 before that. How far did you say it was? 98,000 light years. To the grub planet? Are you sure? Positive. That's what I was trying to tell you before. I downloaded it from the Galactic Bulletin. Oh, no! What's the matter? Well, it's all useless. We can't get the Opera House to the grub planet anyway. The cold fusion reactor's only got a range of 700 and something light years, remember? And if their planet is 98,000 light years, then... Stop them. We can't stop them. 